hello viewers in this class we learn about uh, from planned economy to globalization so here we need to discuss about uh, how india was after the prolonged rule of british and also after all how the nehruvian government has made uh, changes in the indian economy and uh, what happened after the era of after the rule of nehru and finally we need to know about uh, there are lot of problems especially in the indian economy and uh, indian trade and uh, everywhere you can see a lot of problem so how it was tackled let us know that uh, india inherited an economy that had suffered over 200 years of colonial rule so you can see that uh, the british they have ruled almost 200 years here in india and uh, we have got a lot of economic and a lot of problems so india's national income was very low in that time at the beginning of when india got freedom the india's national income was very slow very very low and uh, you can see it grew at a slow rate so the nehruvian program of development uh, during the beginning focused on policy of self reliance and uh, rapid industrialization based on import substitution and also resistance to foreign capital and uh, land reforms so it uh, underlined the significance of state intervention and uh, planning so it also promoted uh, capital goods industries and also the public sector industries so early decades of planning national income began to grow agriculture sector began to grow and also industrial sector began to grow after the nehru era indian economy faced a variety of difficulties like successive failure of monsoons slow growth of agriculture and inflation war and uh, influx of refugees so the indian government uh, after the nehru era faced a lot of difficulties to solve these problems our government has taken a lot of measures among them for the growth of agriculture we are, our government has uh, our government has introduced a green revolution and also our government uh, in the field of economy it was uh, really controlled uh, and uh, it had the it had uh, a lot of constraints and also prolonged uh, protection and uh, excessive government intervention had uh, eliminated a healthy competition both internal and external so to tackle this problem in the year 1991 our government has made reforms this is known as economic reforms of 1991 it uh, began to attempt at a physical discipline liberalization of trade industrial control and uh, also the industrial licensing system was dismantled the public sector was uh, reformed and foreign direct investments were welcomed in the years after the reforms the growth of the gross domestic product recovered quickly and also indian economy entered the age of globalization so these are the things we need to know about uh, indian india from planned economy to globalization we have discussed that uh, India had a long history of colonial rule so it destructed our economy and after the independence nehru took the ro- ruling head of india he brought a lot of policies these policies were self reliance and rapid industrialization and also resistance to foreign capital so he already 
put forward the concept of planning and it promoted capital goods and capital industries and uh, public in the sector together early decades of planning national income began to grow agricultural sector began to grow industry began to grow and after all the nehruvian era indian economy faced a variety of another difficulties so these almost difficulties began to appeared in the indian indian scenario after the death of nehru especially during the 1960s india faced a variety of difficulties a lot of difficulties like slow growth in agriculture inflation war refugees these things to tackle these problems our government successive government has introduced a lot of new reforms and uh, new policies among them green revolution the economic reformation everything finally led to the globalization so this is what we need to know about the chapter from planned economy to globalization so thank you all